Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main Skill. So first of all, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching the videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tell everyone about it, ring the little bell, you know the full works. So uh, I've just come through here to see how Rich and Terry are doing. Well, I've come to check my cows really, but I'll see how Rich and Terry are doing while we're here. So as you can see, we have got the robot here, ready to go. So what they've been getting ready for is concreting. So you can see here, we've split the clamp down the middle, so we've split it anyway, so we'll do it half half, so we'll do this half for now. But we've also split this half in half as well, so it's now in quarters. So uh, I'll tell you why that is. So we'll go up here, I'll show you how they're doing. So you can see they've got all the road forms set up. So they're all up here ready, concreting tomorrow. First thing in the morning, so first wagon's coming at eight. Robots here, Metcalf Plant Hire are doing it again. So if you look on my videos, you'll be able to see, uh, well, they've done this cattle shed here, the inside, the feed barriers and everything. Uh, the feed passageway, sorry. Uh, they did main skill all the concreting around the yard there last year. So you'll be able to see that as well. They're all on old videos there. But as you can see here, they've got it all nice and level. All worked down, all rolled, ready to go. Hard surface on the ground, ready for the concrete. We are concreting just above the bottom of the concrete panel to get it all nice and tight, watertight, effluent tight. So here we go. So the reason we have broke it, well, we've put it in the middle, is we've put this cross. Firstly, it's not as big a pour, so if something goes wrong, we're all right. We've got only got half it to do. So how many cube did we say, Richard? How many cube? What, 124 in that bit, 180 in this? Yes. There we go. So, 180. 108, not 180. I was gonna say that's 300 cube, but not that much. Right, so 120, 108, that's what's ordered to do these. So, like I said, we split it down the middle here. So what we're actually doing is Robert Fry has come the other day. So he's somewhere from Lancashire, not far from Grandma and Uncle Kev. And they come a group of farmers the other day, they had a look around the sheds while they were here. And he told us that what they've done with their silage clamp, so this is Harry's dad, Harry went to college with me, is what they have done is they have broke its back in the middle. So this clamp here, a lot of people put a back wall in the clamp. We're not doing that. We're leaving it open at both ends. So that when you come in, you'll be able to fill it up from whichever end you want, take it from whichever end you want. But then also, when you fill this clamp up again, you'll be able to go to the other end, take the silage from there, so you're not having to go straight into your fresh grass, which is good. But what Harry's dad, Robert Fry, has told us to do, is he said when they did theirs, he says they broke its back in the middle. So what he means by that is that it has fall that way from the middle and fall this way from the middle. So what that means is that when you get your new silage in, you're not, if so, say you put your new silage at this side here, this side of that bar, and then you go to work at that end, your effluent isn't all trying to go back under your good stuff. All your stuff which has been there, fermented and ready to go, you don't want all this fresh effluent leaking under there. So that's why we've broke its back so the effluent can go both ways. We're gonna put drains at both sides and then we'll collect the effluent up because we'll have all the dirty water drains off the yard anyway eventually. So uh, we've got that, but that's just a little look at why we're doing that. So uh, it's a good idea really. We never thought about it till he told us, so that's good. So there we go, there's Matt, there's my concrete man, come to check the site, there he is, and it's looking good, so it's looking a good big area, it's going to look even bigger when it's concrete, it always does, so it's looking ideal, so uh, Terry's over here as well, so I'll flip you around, so here we go, it's coming together, so we've had the laser level set up for getting all the levels right, make sure they get it right. There's our little digger, little roller. There's our 360 as well, 13 tonner. So it's looking well. It's gonna be grand when it's done. So we'll get this done now. Then we'll let it cure for a few weeks. So we have to let it cure for about three weeks. That's the problem. And then once it's cured, we'll be able to get the silage into it. So we'll do that. Matt's over there now, he's just going through his machine, checking it all over, ready for tomorrow to make sure everything's fine. Terry's got some timber, looks like he's just sorting some bits of shutter in for that end, I'm guessing. There we go, it's coming together. So it's looking smart. 
Cows are shouting. Does that mean Ian's just turned up with the feeder wagon, maybe? Because Ian's gone for a feeder wagon for him. So he's maybe just pulled in if they started shouting. We'll have a look. Well, no, he's not here with feeder wagon, but he should be here any minute. So they're looking for him now, so he shouldn't be far off. Little calf there, born this morning. So it's another one, so there's only a few left now, not many left at all, so we're nearly there. And uh, yeah, it's going well. So uh, that was a quick look at where the concreting site is ready. So that's tomorrow. Get all that concreted. So uh, that should be good. Me and Matthew are on with another job at Mainskill. I'll tell you a bit about that soon. Not yet though. Let's see if it works first. So uh, we're going to do that. But it's looking well. Everything's going all right so far. It's coming together. Give over. Come on, girl. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we'll show you the concrete in video. We'll get it done tomorrow, hopefully. Good, good. So, also, I'll just add on because I forgot to say if there's anybody who wants a video of Summit, Summit they know about at Main Skill, or Summit they want to find out about at Main Skill, uh, Summit different going on that I haven't thought of, make sure you give me an idea because. I can't think of all of them for you, you'll have to give me an idea about some of the videos. So uh, that's it, make sure you tell me. And uh, if you do, I'll put them together, see what we can find. There's always something different going on at Mainskill, there's always something, something new, something changing. And uh, we'll see what we can do. So that's it. If you haven't seen, that's the other shed. If you have a look, there'll be some videos of that on there as well, if you haven't seen that. But there's plenty going on, always something different, so uh, that's it. So make sure you tell me, because uh, I need to know what you're thinking. All right, cheers, bye-bye.